already defined this. Mm, so uh, first we're gonna check if a serial port in dot is open. I mean, sorry, is not open, right? So we're gonna start the timer because uh, we w we want the serial connection happen on the timer ti uh, on the timer re serial that data we do that one so mm, I want the TNR serial data um, dot start okay so first I'm gonna define this interval so uh, like interval we wanna put a thousand millisecond so it means this is one second right so next then we'll show it serial data and then we enable that that one and true so okay so mm, okay this is done for the connect button but we're gonna we're gonna make sure that our timer start and then what the timer gonna do. So I will double I will click in here on the timer with serial data and then double click. Or you can click this and then you choose on the left on, on here you can we, we hear events and double click on the tick one. So it as well it will that bot method is same so <coughs> the timer the timer what will timer do uh, so we're gonna add the same like here try we catch on the exception in case if any error happened so we're gonna show on the message box so we put the timer with serial data and the, we show the exception message okay so what the timer do timer will first will open the serial port oh yeah serial port because because we already checked if serial is not open in here so we open in here serial port sorry serial port in dot open and then here we're gonna show our data that we read from the serial communication but first I'm gonna rename this element something like a text the uh, read serial value okay because we because we want continuously uh, we want continuously shown each data we read from serial data uh, it comes goes down continuously so so we have to append this rich text box to our new value so here something like txt read uh, serial value dot append text okay we're gonna put on the new line so I'm sorry environment message the environment that new line plus the data that we read from the serial port so serial port in dot read existing so whatever we read we will add continuously on the rich text box on the rich text box so and then we are gonna close so we we have to continuously open close open close open close right because we use the timer uh, on the next video I will show you how to use uh, how to create read serial data using trading but for for now on we use a uh, timer in here if I comment in this line so the program will show an error why because when it start again the serial port that we 
defined before. It's already in years on the system. So I have to close the port and then open again, close again, continuously, something like that. Okay. Okay. Uh, now we are done with our code. So we try to build. Right click on here, build, or simply you can press the control control shift B on your keyboard. Okay. We build. Okay, succeed. So show him. Okay. <coughs> um. Okay. We already. I already defined this application will connect to the com to the com four and our apps is com three and then I try to connect. Uh, and then I try to connect. Uh, you see here the the car carrot the carrot on here. It will continuously add a new one, and then see the scroll one. If I type something here, test sending data, test send data in here, it will be shown here. Okay, so in case you want, you want automatically scroll to the chair to the chariot. We have to add uh, one line. Okay, I close the apps first. I'm gonna stop this. In here, um, txt serial serial value dot scroll to chariot in here. So our carrot will be continuously automatically move focus on the on the uh, last line. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna build again and start. Or you can simply press F5 on your keyboard. In here, if you're gonna connect, you can see here. We try to send something from the um, from the cool term uh, test send data. Okay, you see. So it will be focused automatically to the chart to the last line. Okay, close now. Uh, but uh, we want uh, we want also we want to uh, do, do something with disconnect because if disconnect uh, be pressed it will be stopped to read the data right so double click on the disconnect button and we go to our code now I'm gonna add again try catch exception so show um, stop disconnect error plus uh, exception dot message maybe this is good okay so uh, first we're gonna check if the serial open serial port uh, that is open okay so we will close we will close the serial port okay and then uh, we're gonna stop the timer so tmr tmr read serial data that stop okay that's it and that's it okay and then uh, we want make sure that our application is not freezing uh, because it uh, when the our application connecting to the uh, serial port and the timer is continuously running um, we, we want this to first close the connection and then dispose all all, all variables so uh, we can click on the form and then in here I'm gonna sh I'm gonna select the even form closing from closing yes so it help it will be happen before closing you can show on the description in here okay from closing okay you can double click in here and then bam show here it will be do the same thing like the disconnect button so 
I mean just copy this code and then paste right okay we're gonna save it we're gonna save it and then again we're gonna build or I just simply press F5 okay um, I tried to send something nothing happened okay so I connect see the series buffers have a buffer uh, it will keep on the memory that we have something like so this is something really coming okay so when I try to disconnect see the data the data is stopped the application or application is stopping to read the serial data when I send something here it will be oh sorry it will be go to the buffer and then when we connect again it will be shown this data that we it sent before okay okay you're, uh, that's all folks uh, if any comment uh, I hope this is use, uh, useful for you if any comment please a comment on the sh in the below sections and then hope you I hope yeah I hope this is useful for you on the next video I will show you how to create a simple application to read a simple serial data but we will use a get trading okay that's it okay thanks everyone